What's going on, Shoe Gamers, and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I bring you the Nike SB Dunk Run the Jewels. The sneaker world has always been a part of collaborations, whether it's with brands, artists, movies, you name it. And no other silhouette has more collaborations and the best, in my opinion, than the Nike SB Dunk. So today, I bring to you an unreleased pair of Nike SB Dunks known as the Run the Jewels. Run the Jewels is an American hip hop super duo composed of two members, the Brooklyn based rapper and producer LP, as well as Atlanta based rapper Killer Mike. What? Hear what I say. We are the business today. Fuck shit is finished today. You might not know who LP is, but Killer Mike, you can't say you don't know him. Whether it was with the Dungeon Family, collaboration with Outkast on Stan Konya, which to me is one of the best albums coming out of the Atlanta area. Not only has he been a part of the music, he's also been a part of the political world and social justice movement. No kidding why Nike wants to do a collaboration with this influential duo. Doctors of death, killing our patients of breath. We ought to pay you the trust. This is not the first time that Nike has made that union with the music world. Whether it's the MF Doom, Grateful Dead, Dinosaur Jr., or even the unobtainable Iron Maiden. And who can forget the De La Soul SB Dunk High and Low. So no kidding that Nike wants to keep making these collaborations with musicians. It's a hit. Is Nike trying to tap into that world of the musician collaboration to try to get this shoe to be influential? You bet they are. Dropping in 420, coincidence? I don't think so. Set to release in skate shops near you. The price, supposed to be $130. The resale value, sky's the limit. If this is your first time on the channel, I appreciate you guys coming here, but make sure you hit that subscribe button because we got more videos on the way. The colors, does this not give you Miami Vice vibes? I think it does. And you might say I'm biased to those colors, and I am. But what can I do? This is the colors that they gave us for this shoe. It's got a hairy suede, nubuck, and leather running through the entirety of the shoe. We got our dark blue on the overlay side panels. We also have our lighter blue suede on the side and the toe box. The leather of the shoe, so the tongue is actually leather in a university blue colorway. The SB Dunk tab is baby blue or university blue as well with gold lettering on it. And then it's got that beautiful standout pink Nike swoosh on the side, which is also a smooth suede. The laces of the shoe I thought was something that was pretty unique. They have a baby blue or university blue lace. It seems like it's braided on the lace throughout it. It does come with two alternate laces that I'll get to in a little bit, but this is the one that is going to be coming on your shoe. Something that I did want to highlight about the shoe is the back heel tabs. You might have seen some samples online that had the famous Run the Jewels logo with the gun and the fist holding that chain that's basically like a stick up situation. That was on the sample pair. For some reason, Nike is not putting it on their general release. They're going with the nice gold glitter-like lettering with Nike on the back heel tabs. I think the most unique part of the shoe has to be the bottom sole of the shoe. It's got our beautiful iced out sole, but peering through that iced out sole in a dark blue is the Run the Jewels lettering coming across the bottom sole of the shoe, the insoles. It is a blue suede on both of the insoles, and it's got that infamous stick-up logo notorious for Run the Jewels. If you flip it around on the Zoom Air unit, you have something very unique. If you look at your right heel tab, you have HBD Mike or Happy Birthday Mike, which is an ode to Killer Mike with the fist. And it's got the dates 420, 1975, which is Killer Mike's birthday. On the left, you have Jamie Lee, which is a play 
on LP, which his first name is Jamie, and his wife, Emily. And so they made the two words Jamie Lee. 420 2010 is actually LP and his wife's anniversary of their wedding. So, of course, the reason why I think they picked these dates is because they want the shoe to drop on 420. So they picked April 20th, two relevant dates in each of their lives. It looks like the shoe is coming with three different laces, which is not a big surprise. We got that braided university blue lace that comes on the shoe already. We got a darker blue with the university blue tips that plays off the overlays, the suede nubuck overlays on the shoe. And then we have a little bit of a lighter or in, in between blue that also has those baby blue tips on it. So it gives you guys that variety for whatever you're going for. I personally love the colors of the shoe. I think for me, it's playing off that summer vibe. And I think the fact that it's dropping in April makes it cool and it's gonna make it a nice summer shoe to go for. Am I gonna be paying a lot of money for this shoe? Probably not, but it's definitely a shoe that I would be going for. I do love the colors. I do love that they're using blue and I wear a lot of blue. I do like that they put the pink swoosh through it as well. I think that makes it stand out. The materials on the shoe is kind of cool. I don't know if this is gonna be the final product, but I do like the smooth leather, the smooth nubuck, and the hairy suede put together on the shoe. The one thing I don't like about the materials, the tongue being leather. I think that's kind of turning me off about the shoe a little bit. I think they were trying to go for what they did with the sting waters when they did have that leather tongue. To me, it makes the shoe a little bit too stiff. But if it comes to the materials outside of the leather tongue, the colors of the shoe, I do like the shoe. The bottom sole of the shoe, everybody loves the clear iced out sole when they first get it. But do you actually like it when you wear the shoe? My answer is no, because it just gets dirty so fast. Think about your why so sad dunk. How quickly did that get dirty the first time you wore it? Think about all your Jordan 11s how quick those iced out soles get bad. You have to clean it every single time. So, is it cool to look at outside of the box? Yes. Is it cool that they're running the Run the Jewels logo underneath it so it's peering through? Yes. Are you gonna be able to see it every time you wear the shoe? Probably not. So to me, it's a cool part of the shoe, but is it gonna make it cool for the everyday wearer? I don't think so. My favorite part of the shoe has to be the insoles. It is suede, it's got the black and pink Run The Jewels stick up logo on it, which gives it the uniqueness. It gives it its character, as well as the Zoom Air unit ode that they gave to each artist on the bottom of it. Overall, I love the colors of the shoe. I think the materials are cool. I think their play on the materials was a little bit difficult, but I do think it's still a wearable shoe and I would pay the retail value for it. Am I gonna pay $400, $500 for it? Probably not, but I would definitely go after this shoe. My overall assessment, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Nike SB Dunk Run The Jewels three out of five stars. All right, to my favorite part, trying the shoes on. So, what I'd like to tell you guys about this part is definitely if the shoe is true to size, if the fit is different than other SBs or other silhouettes similar to it, what the materials feel like, but most importantly, what they look like on foot. Okay, so the materials are not really making a difference on the shoe fit. It feels good, definitely a true to size. This is actually an eight and a half. I wasn't able to get a size nine on this one. So I can get away with eight and a halfs. I do prefer the size nine for my SB Dunks just because of the fat tongues. But to be honest, it fits well. So I'm not too upset about that right there. Feels good. All right, let's get to it.
This has been another episode of the Sneaker Exams with Shoe Game MD. Today, I brought you the Nike SB Dunk Run the Jewels. Stay tuned because I got more unreleased pairs on the way. Until next time, we'll see you again on Shoe Game MD. Thank you.